Hi there, Valerie Shodine here with a new stencil. I'm excited about this one. It has a lot of possibilities, overlays, and kind of a retro look with its own kind of flair here. So I made a little journal. Uh, I only had a few art supplies with me, and one was this Aquabee sketchbook. So it's kind of thicker paper, but not like cardstock. And I thought, well, I do have some needle and thread. So I just put together this little journal and thought, I'm gonna see what I can do with a pencil. So pencil and a kneaded eraser and some paper. Then I did also have a glue stick. So I glued some of this into here. And so this little journal, that I'm going to do more with, but I thought this would be a really easy way to show you about what you can do with a stencil, and of course a lot more, but is like right here and here, and then this kind of spine here, almost a spine. <laughs> and also I mix it with, it's kind of a companion one. It can be totally separate, but this is a, uh, lovely stencil that I'm having a lot of fun with, uh, just doing some watercolor, some paint pen, and that's with this here. And I have another video on actually using sewing with the stencil, so some embroidery. Anyway, you might wanna check that out. Okay, but this one here makes a bold statement, and I'll show you one thing that I'm working on here, or playing with, I should say, is I love to doodle and with black and white too. So this is nice bold stripes here, and then I can add my text in here. And I've, I write and doodle a lot in my journals. So there's that. And I just wanted to give a quick demo because one tool I haven't used very much in stenciling is an eraser. And I thought this made a really cool background with this. And also to show you one other thing is these kind of overlays here where I just filled in with my pencil. And then I moved this over and these fit right into here. So I can choose if I wanna fill them all in with pencil or like I did here is I actually use the eraser. So it has this gray and then this darker gray here with the white. I really like that subtle look. And then I can go in and write here or I can put a coat of matte medium on this and even do a wash with acrylics, which is probably what I'll end up doing. So just a quick, easy demo here on how to use a stencil like this with a pencil. And let's see, how about if I do some of the edge here? Maybe I'll just do it on the top edge. And I can also cut the edge like I did here. So I just drew around the edge here and then I cut it out and I glued this on, this piece of paper onto this one so many options there. And I'll just go real quick here. Just do an outline and then fill it in kind of messy. I actually did this one with a mechanical pencil and so I didn't have to sharpen it. Now this one I'll have to sharpen, but you get the idea. I'm not being very careful because the stencil really is a framework I can just go right up against. It's kind of like a gutter guard <laughs> and it makes it really easy. And then I guess I should have brought it down a little. You know, you can draw around the top and I could either fill that in, leave it or cut this out, which is probably what I'll end up doing for that. And the cool part about this too is if you have a certain size that you're working with, you, you can do more or less. So I don't have to do all these because you get the idea. <laughs> but I do want to show some, so we go.
Now to get the gray background, what I did is I took a, a tissue and I filled in more of these, of course, but I just went over it like this. And I did this over the whole page. Okay, and once I did it over the whole page, then I took this part of the stencil and lined it up so that these diamonds are in between the circles with the lines on them. And then I just filled them in like this. So easy. And let me just show this. And then I would go in and say, okay, I want some of them e erased. You can kind of see there. And it gives a very subtle background. And I can write pen on top. I could do some watercolor on top or, you know, probably even gelatos. I think you want to be careful as far as the smear part of that, but that just gives you an idea of what you can do and what I've done here and um, with this grid. And then I can cut out here. I should have come down a little bit, but just, I know you can get the idea. <laughs> so yeah, it should have come down. But then you have the edge. And the same is true of this edge. Like I cut this around here and, and then I could have cut it on this side too. So I wanted to show you, here's how it's not cut and then I shade it up and use the eraser. But here's how it's cut and then it shows this page too, which I uh, erase stenciled some of these patterns in here. So I'll just do a quick flip through of this and it doesn't really matter which way you go, but I'll start here. And this has both of the stencils. This is from the other one. This is from this one. I really like this background here. Okay, and that's it for a simple pencil journal.